This is a special emergency edition of PFTPM. So important that it's not even in the PM where I am. It's definitely not in the PM where Miles is in Santa Monica. But, Miles, we had to get together a few hours in advance of our meeting this afternoon because the news came out today that when we finally thought we were getting the Patrick Mahomes-Aaron Rodgers matchup that we missed in 2019 due to Patrick Mahomes' injury. We missed it in the Super Bowl because the Packers didn't make it, obviously. We thought we were getting it this year, and now we're not because Aaron Rodgers has tested positive for COVID, and he has no chance of getting back by Sunday because, contrary to the clear impression he created in August, he is not vaccinated. That is a stunner. That is a bombshell. I've got some strong opinions. But before I get myself worked up, I'm going to give you a chance to chime in with your thoughts. Well, you're going to give me a chance to get worked up, huh? I mean, look, he was asked a clear question about whether or not he was vaccinated. And he said, yes, I've been immunized. And if you look at what immunization is, the definition of by the CDC, Right. It is a process by which a person becomes protected against the disease through vaccination. So this term is often used interchangeably with vaccination or inoculation. It's a synonym. Right. We're not just saying here that Aaron Rodgers gave off the impression that he was vaccinated. He literally told reporters, yeah, I've been immunized. And really, if we are looking at definitions of things and, you know, language and parsing language and all of this different stuff, he said he has been vaccinated. And the reason that reporters kept asking this question over the course of training camp was because immunization, inoculation, vaccination often determines availability, right? If Aaron Rodgers had been vaccinated, as he said that he had, Then if he had two negative tests over the course of, excuse me, separated by 24 hours, then he would be able to play, right? Because he is not, that is not a chance for this to happen. So this determines availability, this vaccination issue, right? It's not just people trying to be intrusive into people's personal decisions. It's not really a personal decision. It's an individual decision that affects not just your team, but the rest of society. And the fact that Aaron Rodgers really lied about this, it's one of those things that, man, I, it, it affects my perception of him as a human being, honestly. But when I used to try cases for a living, because, you know, I used to be a lawyer. One of the arguments I, I would make if I had a witness who was caught in a falsehood on the witness stand. The argument is, and and I would set it up with this spiel where you set the scene, but basically you're at a campfire and you got a big pot of beef stew and, you know, you put all the ingredients in, blah, blah, blah. You take a bite and the meat's rancid, okay? Do you keep eating or do you dump out the whole pot? And this calls into question Aaron Rodgers' credibility on everything. On everything. When you get caught in a lie like this on an important public health issue, your credibility on everything is suspect going forward. Now, setting that aside and to amplify your point, he said immunized. And that may be his, well, hey, I never said I was vaccinated. I said I was immunized because I've had it. And I've got the, the antibodies, and we hear that all the time. I don't need to be vaccinated. I had it. I've got the antibodies. Okay, fine. But here's what he said right after he said I've been immunized. There's guys on the team that haven't been vaccinated. I think it's a personal decision. I'm not going to judge those guys. Of course you're not. You're one of them. <laughs> you're, you're one of them, right? Yeah. I, how can I judge guys who aren't vaccinated When I'm not vaccinated. So he created the clear impression that he was vaccinated. He lied to the reporters. The headline of every story was Aaron Rodgers says he's vaccinated. He never said it, but he clearly implied it. And then, Miles, let let me tell you this. I've got my, my phone here. October 5. Can't tell you who it was, but I can tell you it was one of the NFL's general managers. I can be that specific regarding generalities. Text out of the blue. I heard something crazy that I believe based on who told me. And yada, yada, back and forth. Aaron Rodgers is not vaccinated. And so uh, I, 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 what I decided to eventually do, because this isn't something that someone's just going to admit if they're trying to conceal it. I, right. I went and looked at photos of preseason games when Aaron Rodgers was not 
in uniform, was on the sideline, and under the protocols that were in place for the preseason, he was supposed to wear a mask. All three preseason games, no mask. I've never seen him in a mask. Only right. images I've seen this year are beard and mustache looking like Slippery Pete from the Frogger episode of Seinfeld. Never in a mask. Not talking to reporters. Not at, at the, 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 the sideline during preseason. Now, when you're in uniform, you don't have to wear a mask when you're not in the game. But the three preseason games in August, when the virus was about as bad as it's been, right? We, we've been lucky the past few months. It, the numbers have gone down. It was as bad as it's been in August. And he's there, you know, face to face, talking to people, all sorts of pictures, him standing next to Matt LaFleur, him standing next to David Bakhtiari, violating that protocol. I've asked the league to identify all the times he's been fined and what for. Is he violating the protocol in the building? Is it just those moments where his ruse may be exposed? I, 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 I'm, I, I was stunned by this. Even, even though I was told back in early October that he wasn't vaccinated, I'm still stunned that he was able to pull it off and that he lied about it the way that he did. Well, the fact that he was able to pull it off for so long, and, you know, if if we had known, if Packers reporters, I really should say, had known that Aaron Rodgers was not vaccinated, how would they have felt about being in an indoor interview room with somebody who is speaking directly to them when presumably they are masked because I'm pretty sure that that's part of the protocol for any NFL media personnel to be um, in the buildings. You got to be vaccinated and you've got to be masked basically at all times, right? So how are they supposed to feel inside when somebody is speaking to them in a press conference for 15 to 20 minutes and they're not vaccinated? This is ridiculous, Mike. It, it's it's something that when you have told people, yes, I have been immunized. It's not just that I've been immunized. It's that, yeah, when you are affirmatively answering a direct question, that implies basically that you are saying yes to the question. Yes, I have been vaccinated. And then he says, yeah, I've been immunized. So it's just, there's a lot of this that is I, really from a just human standpoint, pretty infuriating given what we've been going through as a country in, you know, in our different towns, whatever you want to call it, but as a world and as a society too, man, like when you have something that can help end this pandemic and you lie about saying that you've done the thing that can help do that, it, it really, it's very, very, very frustrating. Here's a point Kristen Coleman just reminded me of, because I thought of this last week when Devontae Adams tested positive while vaccinated. Alan Lazard was a close contact and knocked out for five days. And I thought, hey, you know, maybe we're going to find out whether or not Aaron Rodgers is vaccinated. Maybe he was close enough of a contact with Devontae Adams that he's knocked out too, but he wasn't. And I wonder whether mm -hmm. he should have been now. I, I don't know how deep this rabbit hole goes. I don't know how much the Packers or the league enabled Aaron Rodgers to not be vaccinated. That's what I'm trying to find out. I've got people telling me now that he always has a mask on in the facility. And they, they've just been able to keep this all quiet. This is the NFL's version of the big lie that they've managed to keep quiet. And now it's out there, and it's going to be very interesting to see what he has to say next Tuesday with Pat McAfee or the next time he has a press conference, whenever he comes back 10 days from now and starts getting called out. Because, Miles, here's my very simple Occam's razor explanation as to why he's lying. He doesn't want to get vaccinated, but he also doesn't want to be criticized for not being vaccinated because the man hates criticism. The man is so sensitive. He's sensitive about being called sensitive, as we found out in his 60 Minutes profile from several years ago when he was portrayed as sensitive and he was upset. And 60 Minutes basically said, see, see, he's sensitive. He doesn't want to be criticized. He wants all the fame, all the glory, all the notoriety on his terms. He wants no one to criticize him. That's why he goes off on these rants about deplatforming people who would dare criticize him. He is, he's obsessed with with a certain former chief executive of this country about not being criticized. And he didn't want, because he knew he'd be criticized. Look at what happened to Kirk Cousins, Cole Beasley, Carson Wentz, criticized, criticized, criticized. He was trying to avoid that, and he went so far as to violate protocols repeatedly to cover up the truth. But at least those guys that you just mentioned, say it with their chest. You know, if they're going to say, yeah, I believe in something, then 
as misguided as I may feel it may be, at least they're saying it with their chest and they're out there and they know that they believe it. And, you know, as our guy MDS put it in our text chain, you know, you know to stay away from Cole Beasley, right? You know, because he is not vaccinated. And frankly, if you're in the building and Aaron Rodgers has been wearing a mask and he's been doing all these different things, then yeah, I guess you would know inside the building too, because it's probably hard to conceal that he's had to come in every single day and test for COVID-19, just like he did last year, just like everybody did last year under those protocols when there was no vaccine. I'm sure it's very hard to conceal that. So now, you know, when you see that the practice squad quarterback is saying, oh, well, I guess I get to play Call of Duty all week because I'm out with COVID. Yes, that's part of the reason why Aaron Rodgers can kind of get on the PlayStation or the Xbox or whatever it is and go do the same thing. They can have you know, some good hangouts there because he's not going to be playing this week. We'll have more to say about all of this coming up at 5 o'clock Eastern on PFTPM. For now, we need to shut up because others need to use a microphone and a camera for their business. And I have a feeling they may be talking about what's happened today with Aaron Rodgers. But the big story, unexpected, Aaron Rodgers tested positive for COVID. He's not vaccinated and he lied about being vaccinated. Sorry, Aaron. You may not like to hear that. You're a liar and you got to own it. And I'm never going to believe anything you say at face value anymore. Not that I ever did, but I definitely won't now. That's it for now. We'll see you later today. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.